What's up, everybody? Gonna make a video real quick on uh, some tips. Someone that was subscribed to my channel asked me to make a video uh, kind of explaining temperature, I guess, setup and ideal. And, and I guess another reason why I got my Avery's built the way I do. All right, so let's get started. All right, so these Avery's are built the way they are with the wall open on the back like that. Just like you see on this one here. They're built that way to allow circulation of air. It does get hot. I'm in Southern California. They get hot like 103 degrees, 108 at times, which is really hot for these birds too. Uh, but that's the reason why I got these open like that. So it allows air and circulation through. And it looks nice too. So when you stand in here and you can see everything. Let me show you the other side. So here's the other side of that same Avery there. And um, as you can see, but it just allows air through there and stuff but uh you got to give the birds privacy too because anybody knows about goodians they like to be perched up at the very top okay so that's the reason why i have the plywood built like this on the top it's over there too we'll get to that one but right here any, anybody know about these birds they like to be perched up at the very top and that's they escape from air and drafts things like that cold drafts um and you can see on the other side i have the plywood i do that as well because I put their nest boxes up there it allows privacy for them when they're up there and nobody wants to be hanging out at the top like that and these are built like face your face will be faced with their nest boxes they don't like that so it allows them to get privacy that's the reason another reason for it so it's important that you do that um, if you built the Avery make, make sure you put some plywood same thing on the bottom that plywood and that's also the key, the mulch in. I use mulch for my flooring. People ask me about my flooring. I use mulch. This is on concrete. And you can see I got square and grown in the mulch. Um, the fountain here, I don't clean it out too often because the water is always evaporating. But I clean it out maybe like once every one week and a half or something. Um, and it's important to have the water reservoir tank highly hidden so it doesn't get dirty. And I don't have any perches of sticks above this water fountain here. Just keep them from crapping them in the water fountain. So that's very small. You don't you don't put that there. And um, my button quills on the ground. This wall is taller in the back, and that's because I got a swimming pool over there. So I'll just kind of like keep most of the stuff in here. Plus, it gives it a how you say shelter away from cold drafts or anything like that. All right. So that's the reason why I have that built like that. So, but in the winter time, your birds will die. Trust me, it's happened to me. You cannot keep. I won't be able to keep my birds out here in the winter time. They will die. I've done it before. Don't do it. But if they were built with a back wall and I was able to secure this off with some heaters, maybe yeah. But I bring them in in the winter time um, and put them in flight cages. So there's a group in here, and there's a group in here, and then a group back there. I don't mix and combine the groups. So this group will go in a separate flight cage. Every single bird will go in a flight cage. Same thing with this one. This group will go in a separate flight cage and the back one as well. And they will go in the house for the winter time. I keep the same group with each other throughout the winter time. And I place them the same group back in their Avery's where I initially took them out. That way I ain't crossing them. I can identify them and I'm not inbreed. Very important I do that. So that's another, another reason why I do things the way I do as far as the birds. All right. And when I have a... Uh, Gourmet egg food. I use this right here for my boiled eggs. This is courtesy of Magnolia Bird Farm. Six fifty a pound. You put some of that in, in the boiled eggs after you crush them up. They love that. Don't go buy real greens. I don't use the greens up too fast, so they wind up getting spoiled. So I buy dry greens. And this is a four ounce for dollar twenty five, courtesy of Magnolia Bird Farm as well. And I mix that with this and the egg food and everything. And they love that. Here is some Japanese millet spray. These birds love that this is already in their bird seed, so they already find this and try to eat the majority of this. But this is directly just that by itself. So that's a millet spray, you can get that. That's courtesy of Magnolia Bird Farm as well. Here we got a 50 pound bag of Lady Goodian mix. This is courtesy of Magnolia Bird Farm as well. And as you can see, I'm already almost done. So I gotta go get some more because these birds are eating them up. Because I have like 70 new babies right now. Okay, this Avery here, same style. 
And as you can see, you got the plywood at the top. Got all the nest boxes going all the way down. Oh, this one has the opening on the top. We cut that out to allow the, the hot air to escape the top and to allow the sun to come through only through here, shining down on that fountain there. That's another fountain that has the water hidden. All the water is hidden in there so it doesn't get dirty. This doesn't have any perches or sticks above it. And that's to keep them from crapping in there as well. So as you can see, it's very important to have flight. These birds love flight. They don't like height. It's better to have flight. This is why they built, they're long built the way they are. They're in an L shape. Anyway, here goes my nets. I use a big net. People always ask me, how do I catch them? And you know, the, without stressing them out as much. Here, I don't have a safety door. So I put this screen net thing I have. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. So what I'll do is, I'll, I'll go inside and I'll make all the birds come this way behind the net like you see some of them doing right now and I would stand on that side of the net they're all blocked in back there and I would catch them with the net that is the quickest and best way for me to do this this is built in an L shape so the birds eventually going to run that way when I go in and go oh not run fly that way excuse me and go this way that allows me uh, to come in safely but it's ideal to have a safety door I have a safety door and I had Avery over there that one right there has a safety door. Yeah, and there's one inside. This one doesn't have a safety screen or nothing. I gotta get one, but I just pretty much I time myself to get in here. Look, they're already here. They're like, let me in. Oh, you come feeding me or whatever. Egg food. They love egg food. So let me show you the other side of this one here. So this is the back side of it. That's what it looks like. See? This is my longest one here, actually, because it goes over to my wall. The other one doesn't. It'll just block my whole, my whole thing. This wall over here is taller because I got the pool, and I didn't want a lot of that stuff to come in here. Plus, it gives it more shade. Same thing. See another back one down there, one on top. Like I said, this is only meant to go from the springtime all the way to the midwinter. I mean, mid fall, and that is it. And then I gotta bring the birds back in. So. That is the reason why they built the way they are. So that's pretty much it. Subscribe to my channel. Please like and comment. Any questions, I'll be gladly to answer. Till next time.